Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday I did not do a who should you choose video. I woke up late and I had probably the busiest day of uh, of my career. So uh, nonetheless, I figured I would do one on Saturday, which I don't normally do. We got a new event, so maybe I can talk about that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's get into uh, today's who should you choose. Uh, if you guys are looking to get your comments and question answered on the next video, just subscribe with notifications on. I do first question first or first comment first. Uh, you just have to type a comment right away and then you can edit it later. That's the best way to do it. But let's get into it. All right, so starting first, we've got a bunch of notification squad, guys. What's up? All right, from Charles, Charles Vukovic. All right, hello, Sleaze. I love you, man. You're the best. Thanks, dude. Before you can, before you read my, can you give me a little ASMR coffee slurping? I don't have a coffee, but I do have a shake that my wife made me, so. There you go, dude. King's Coast is the best coast. It is the best coast, absolutely. Anyways, I have eight icon collectibles and no gold. I'm waiting for 86 icons like coffee and sardine for Thief. Okay, I can respect it. And then on to the big dog. While doing this, I'm taking a bit of hit on Kachuri because I absolutely hate the Flyers. So I can respect that. I have 150k. I'm not sure what to do next. Here's my team. Already. So he's got Lafleur, Crosby, Goretzky, Koivu on the wing, Lindros, Philpola, Sundin, Nugent, Bowser, Risto, Hedman. All right, so like, there's really nowhere that you're going to upgrade your team, man, to be honest with you. 150k, I mean, the only thing you could do is probably grab the dynamic duo uh, McD or Matthews, but that's kind of becoming like old news, to be honest with you. Um, I'd probably look to upgrade from Philpola, so anyone with Spark, <laughs> I mean, honestly, the new Jack Hughes, but that's probably pretty pricey for you. That would be an awesome go, but yeah, Philpola is where I would look first. Not second, he says. Hey, Ian Hardy, Ace Lee, bonjour, and thanks for everything you do. After watching the video, I saw you got to me, so I'll be back next week. Insert promo here. Let's go, Rangers. Guys, make sure you use code no sleeves for all of your G Fuel purchases this weekend. 30% off your entire order, and it helps me out. All right, let's get into it. The next question, we've got Dylan Wilson. Lafleur, Crosby, Tarasenko. Man, I look tired. Holy smokes. I was up to like 4 a.m. last night, boys. Nylander, uh, Couturier, McDavid. Abramov Lemieux. All right, so I have 150k and a gold collectible. Looking to upgrade D spot and replace Seabrook. Just don't know how good or who would be a good option. Okay, so he's looking to upgrade Seabrook, which is a probably probably the smart play at this point. His other cards are okay. I really want I really want you to get Besser up a little bit higher or Brock Bowser, Brick Bowser. <laughs> You're looking for a good right-handed D option. Um, Mm. There's a. It's funny because there's a lot of decent lefties now, like that new Morgan Riley that came out and whatnot. I believe there's a team of the week or primetime Latang that's like an 88. Uh, that would probably be a decent option. You're looking at... You know, for like 150k, you can't really go out and get a master item, um, obviously. So you're looking, guys, you want to take a look at your prime times and your and your team of the week. Those are the least popular cards because people just, once they're out of power, once they're like not the new hotness, like for team of the week, people forget about them. It, unless they're the big ones like Kucherov or Barzal. Uh, but yeah, I would look for like a primetime one. I think Latang has one that's like 88. Not a good synergy on it, but he'll definitely be an upgrade over Seawork for sure. Uh, if you need like synergies, then it's going to depend on some other things. Um, but that's where I would start. Just looking for some primetimes around the 86 to 88 range. Um, those are the cards that you want to target for that replacement. A hey, slaves love the fire content. Wonder where I should go from here. 50k, no collectibles right now. 86 pasta, Lemieux, Matthews, Bowser, Giroux, McDavid. Okay, howitzer, speedster. Right, five out of ten for distributor. Okay, so he needs to activate distributor. Um, you have Lemieux, your backup, and your your fiddler would be three. Lemieux is four. Backup is five. Starter is six. So that right there, you're missing one. So your starter, your backup, you have the coach and Lemieux. That should already be six. Um, so if you don't have that, get that taken care of first. Um, and then another cheap option would be getting rid of Carlson for, um, I think it's Hollos. Oh, wait, Hollos is Spark. I can't remember if Hollos is Spark or Distributor. I just did a video on Spark and Distributor, guys. That's what's going to apply. If it's not Hollows, then the Dougie Hamilton would still be better than the 85 Carlson, in my opinion, um, with Distributor. So <clears throat> I would go there. And then I would look to get rid of 85 Braden Point, and you could grab like that, that Primetime or Team of the Week Olafson. I think he's an 83 overall. That's still a good one. 
and even that 84 Carbono to replace 87 Crosby would be a fine way. And you've got Distributor activated. I think it's important for you to get Distributor activated. Anton Robichaud, Ace Sleeves. Thanks for all the things you do for the Hut community. No problem, my dude. I have 55k and I'm willing to save. I also have 10 GCs, one icon. I don't know where to go next. I have six out of six howitzer, four to four light the lamp. All right, I got light the lamp. This is my team. I'm going to wait until next event till to upgrade. <clears throat> Get your investor. Should I take tradable or untradable? Uh, okay, so based on your team, um, because you don't, you have Kachuri really low. Uh, you have a hundred. You have fifty-five k. I also have ten GCs. Oh, dude, you're close to it. I hope you took untradable, um, because you're close to a um, master item. And if you did, oh, your righties are weak. I would try and get. I would try and get Hughes, even though he is a lefty. Um, your your Brock Besser will jump up to second line for Solani. I have 88 team of the Kucherov, 86 past meets present, Primo on the bench. Okay, that's where I would start. I would look at trying to make Hughes. I hope you took on tradable. Well, sorry, again, this video is a little late, but um, that's where I would look for first. And then uh, you want to look at defensemen. So like 84 Campbell, you want to look to... Actually, he's a speedster, I think. Look to replace... You want to spend like... You know, like 100k on a good decent defenseman, or even more like that. Like I said, is that Morgan Riley that came out that he doesn't have a good synergy? I think he has shut down. That's a good card and, and a little bit cheaper because of it. Bonjour says Isaac, I'm a free to play player. I have 300 gold players and I have two gold collectibles, two icon collectibles. Finally, I have 200,000 coins. There we go. Here's my team. What should I do? Sorry if I made mistakes. I don't speak English, dude. You're doing great, my man. Gretzky, Couturier, Lemieux, McDavid, Sidney Crosby, and Lafleur. All right, Solani Besser. Okay, so I'm not sure if you did this on purpose, but you want to flip these guys. You want to have them playing on their offhand, so you're always set up for the one timer. Okay, so I don't know if you just did this to be you know accurate or what. So uh, I would start there. The first thing you want to do is get rid of Leclerc. Okay, he's not a good winger. His build is really bad for it. He does have um, Howitzer, I believe, so that's not bad. Uh, but you're gonna need a left-handed winger for sure. Um, there's a, a, lo a lot of options now. Um, you could look at, I mean, you have the base McDavid, the 87 overall one, but in the, like, there's a ton of cards that have come out. Like even the Vander Kane isn't bad. Like anything, anything as long if it needs to help your synergies, that's fine. But you, you almost have enough coins where you're looking for a centerman as well. Like, oh, it's tough. You're really close to like, hmm. You're really close to uh, Marcel Nobles, the 89 master item. That's probably where I would go to upgrade at center. But on the wing, look for, like I said, look for any prime times that, like, the, the Vander Kane just comes to mind. Just because I'm a Sharks fan, but he actually isn't a bad build. Uh, but any of the new event as well, look for the cheaper ones, um, you know, around 100K. But I would start first with Marcel Nobles. I think he's the most important for you. And then um, get rid of Leclerc. He could literally for anything, like anything that's fast, you want to upgrade him for. Evan Muller, A sleeves. I have about 100k in coins. Just looking for an idea what to save for. I was thinking of getting Master Set right handed. Demon, think of Doughty, Pareko, as soon as she doesn't matter as they are replacing Suban. Lafleur, Couturier, Meyer. Oh, let's go. You got the Meyer. Lemieux, Gretzky, Parise. Carbono, McKinnon, Warchuk. It's a great team, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're saving up for Suban. Um, How is there for uh, synergies? Like. Someone better than the 88 Subban. You're looking at like a master item kind of. Like there isn't much better in there. Doughty would probably be the cheapest option for you um, for sure. Um, look at um, Hansen as well though. He's still a good card and I feel like he doesn't get, you know, the, the market doesn't really reflect it. So Simon Sharpness is first. Hey, Sleeves, I don't know what to do next with my team. I was thinking maybe the 91 Gabrick or a defenseman either, but not Doughty. I have 500K. Okay, I don't have the gold players. Lemieux. Um, oh, perfect. You have the 86 Leclerc? Dude, go get that Jack Hughes, my man. Go get that Jack Hughes. Try and build him up. Try and get him. You have, I know you're 500K. Um, you might be able to buy him outright. Um, I think that that, that Jack Hughes is an endgame card. Go out and grab him. Damn, you sound raspy, bro. Feel better. Dude, it's, the content grind has been bananas, guys. I've had an event every single day, and even today, starting at uh, 8 p.m., guys, the semifinals for the San Jose Sharks $25,000 6v6 tournament. Uh, you guys don't want to miss that. It has been fantastic all the way through, and I've got, we've got uh, some other, like, Sharks broadcasters hopping on, which is, uh, 
Um, we had Randy Hahn a couple uh, about a month ago, and he will be on for the finals tomorrow. And uh, we've got uh, kind of a surprise um, appearance from Dan Rosanowski. Inverse host. Hey, Sleeves, I was wondering what I should do with my team. I have 300K, one gold. Uh, I'm really good at grinding the market. I was thinking about buying Koi for the floor. I'm also one away from Spark. What do I do? Any other tips here? Okay. Pasta Lemieux, Goretzky, Belvo. Okay. Ladros Carpino. You have 300K. Okay. Well, the 85 bars out is nice. And I'm pretty sure that's the distributor one. Uh, but I, you, you can move on from that. I mean, you have 300K if. Uh, <laughs> Trying to think here, boys. Like that, uh, that's a lefty. Hmm. You can go a couple routes here. You could go with Timo Meyer from the the European Hut Championship, or I always call it Hut Championships, uh, Hockey Club. Move Gretzky to center and get Lindros off the team. Uh, but Barzal, I think, is your weakest link. Um, you could. Barzell, what could you do with Barzell? 300k. You need a righty. Uh. If you put Gretzky back at center and Lindros is gone, like you could go line A because you have a really fast line. I like that line A. Even the 91 isn't bad at all. Um, you're not going to get any team of the years. Um, the winter night, yeah, winter national line is probably where I would go, man. Because it's just like he would he would complement that line, and he's right around three hundred k. Or you can go Marcel Nobles to get rid of Lindros. Nylander, so Pasternak says Nylander, Mario, McDavid, Lafleur, Crosby, Gabrick. Okay, line A: Sackick, Pedersen. Distributor Howitzer are active. Can get two collectibles per week. Um, or coins. I have four hundred k. What should I do? Nat and Crosby for sure. Are all tradable. Okay, you have 400k. Good team here. Um, Left-handed defenseman is probably where I'm looking at here, man. Um, you could go... Jack Johnson would be a good option for you. He's a little expensive. I mean, no, that's he's right around that cost. Could also go Heiskanen. He's starting to drop. He's around there as well. Uh, I would not go with, you know, Darlene. I think he's too expensive. Um, but one of those options, Jack Johnson would probably be one of them. Yeah, you want <clears throat> you want to get that a top pairing defenseman to go with Makar. Jason Porter says, "Yo, sleeves need some help, my dude. Made some moves last night, but I'm in synergy hell. I respect that. All right, kind of stuck on where to go next. I have distributor spark wingman speeds are activated. All right, 92 McKinnon, Kachurian, Borachek, Lafleur, Crosby, McDavid, Mario Koivu, Timo." Okay, I have 186,000 coins, three GCs, 500 gold players. Spending on Sinner Giroux in the bench. Eichel for Lindros might be the play because to activate Howard here, I lose Giroux. And I'm also a Flyers fan, so I like my Flyers. I'm willing to part ways for the cause. Don't part ways for the cause. Okay, um, so you're saying that you're going to lose. I mean, dude, you could... The weak link here on your left side is, I mean, Morenz, but that's not even a, what I would consider a weak link, dude. But that Jack Hughes is where it's at. Like, find a way to get that Jack Hughes. You're pretty hut rich with the gold players because, I mean, you've got 500. That's that's basically enough to make a uh, master item. Um, so I would probably do that. Try and get Jack Hughes into the lineup. Um, and then you could probably move on from, I mean, I, I don't want you to move on from Giroud, dude. I don't. I don't. You're a Flyers fan. Don't do it. Don't do it, kid. I'm not a fan of this. Mc oh, you have untradeable McKinnon. You have the 90 McDavid. The 90 McDavid is kind of... Uh, no, I guess that's... The only other card you can get rid of is Matthews and Moran. So it, it, try and get try and get Hughes and then work with the work with the um, the synergy to try and get back in there. Nicholas Grant says, I think Hoglander is gross. He needs a he needs a master set card. Alright, so the thing about master set guys is that the master set items are done in August before the launch of the game. Um, so it's probably tough for him. I enjoy watching Hoglander as well. He's done really well so far. Um excited to see his career. Ace hey, Slaves, love the content. Keep the great work. Thank you, my dude. Who's a good defenseman who shoots right and has spark? I got roughly 150k. You're not gonna get it for that price, but Aaron Eckblad is the answer there. There's not a ton of them with uh with spark, so. Hey, Sleeves, thanks for all the hard work you do. Here's my team. 
Uh, this is from Zach Montgomery. All right, Lemieux, Koivu, McDavid. He's got the 89. All right, Carlson. I have 20K. How do I get how? And should I? What should I do to get Howitzer back on? Uh, okay, so I don't remember some of these guys off the top of my head in terms of. Hmm. You need to get Howitzer back on, 100%. Um, Barkov in for one of these guys is probably where it's at. You have 20K, so it's not going to happen, man. Um, you got just do whatever you can to try and get Howitzer back on without ruining your other synergies. But for 20K, you're not really going to get anyone of value. Um, so it's going to be like replacing Limblom or something. But I think Limblom might have a distributor. I can't remember off the top of my head, man. Uh, but you need to get focus on that. Outside of that, though, like you know, like uh, Barkov would be a good option because he's cheaper than Ekblad and he's got Spark and uh, Howitzer. Hey, Slaves, what's my next move? 220K, one icon. 220K. I'm not a big fan of your centermen. They're good centermen, like, in terms of their build. But, um, I mean, I guess. Like, they're not bad. I just think they're overpayment, but they're untradeable, so never mind. Uh, you need to make sure you get your Couture up, and then I would get... Um, oh, you need defenseman, man. Um... I would replace Victor Hedman with OEL, the base OEL first to start, and then you need defense, like right-handed defenseman. So um, it's going to be expensive, but Drew Doughty's probably your next best bet. You have 220K, so it's right around there. What should I use my 75K on with an 85, 88 overall team? Bro, that's so vague. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Make sure just work on that. I'll work on the synergy. Ace, uh, this is from NHL Dangler. Ace Sleeves, love the content. I have, I'm free to play. I have no collectibles. I have 275k after selling 85 Sittler for 120. Nice, dude. I followed your advice and got Carbono from 84 Icon set first try. I tried out the base McDavid, but he was meh. So I'm looking to sell him now. I'm trying out my 85 Fantasy Abramov, but he's been a solid option for me. I might look at to buy in Morenz to replace Simmers. That a good option? Yeah, that's a far, far better upgrade. Should I get the lit Carlson and replace Hamilton? And then I started upgrading my fantasy McCarr. And one more question. Will 89 Lemieux be needed for his silver icon set? I'm starting to save icons for him. Yes. So, yeah, you will need the, uh, you will need the, just, it'll be just like all the other ones. So you will need Lemieux and Gretzky to get those, the silver versions. If you have the 91 versions, it'll be cheaper. Uh, you have 275K. Um, Morenz for Simmer is a big upgrade. Um, for sure. After that... I would work on Fantasy McCarver because your defense is pretty weak. Um, that's that's the next spot. So I would take on tradables, to be honest, over the next week to work on Couturier and Besser and Fantasy McCarver. You want to make sure you do that. But uh, I want to try and activate Spark, but I don't have any points into it. Any suggestions to activate? I have a video that shows you a budget way to get Distributor and uh, Spark. Go and watch that one, man. All right, Sean says, hey, here's my team. LaFleur, Lef Lemieux, Svetch. Stamkos, Lindros, okay. I have 700k, two GCs. I'm going to work towards building a fantasy card, and I don't know who to buy with my coins. I'm thinking about buying 89 Gretzky and selling when I can make him. What would what do you recommend I should do with my coins? I'm not trying to blow all my coins on players. I feel the market is going to keep going down. Love your channel. Keep your videos up. Man, honestly, your, your left side is weaker than your right, man. That Jack Hughes, dude. I know you want to blow your money on one card, but that Jack Hughes, bro. Um... Outside of that, I mean, buying Gretzky wouldn't be a bad option, I guess. I just don't know how much more expensive he's going to be because it is going to cost a ton of Icon collectibles to upgrade him regardless. From an 89 to 95, like, it's probably going to cost, like, 12. <clears throat> so you're already talking 600K, so how much more expensive is that Gretzky going to be? Um, so just keep that in mind um, because it already costs 7 to make him. You know what I mean? So... Um, what do you recommend I should do with my coins? I'm not trying to blow my coins. I won't play. I get the market going down. I mean, outside of that, dude, I'll have a best of all ranges video coming up probably tomorrow. I would look for, just watch for that because yeah, you need, you need a left-handed, like I, I honestly think that with your team, um, it's a very, very good squad. I know you don't want to go all in on one, but that Jack Hughes, you won't have to replace. He's got an end game speed and a good shot. Like that's it. Is making Fantasy McCarr worth it? Um, you want to make sure you have Couturier and uh, and Brock Besser, for Brick Bowser first, and then you can worry about McCarr, and only if you don't have any other good right-handed defenseman options. It's not like he's a bad card. It's just like 
defensively, he's not elite. Um, so you, you just got to keep that in mind. But no, he is a very good card. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Who Should You Choose? Thank you guys for watching. And again, if you want your question answered on the next video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. I'll see you guys later.